Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a drop down menu table. Um, it just allows you to put more information in your drop down menu. So we'll go ahead and get started. I'm going to first, I'm going to create a table, um, just a basic table. I like going design view, so I'm going to call this table test. Um, first, we'll just say last name. Oops, I don't like spaces. Last name. Do this again. First name. And we'll say company. And this will be our drop down menu. So, to do this, I'm going to save table first, and then I'm going to create a new table. So, I'm going to go to table design. And this table, so I'm going to have DDID, auto number. It's also going to be my primary key. And then I'm going to say DD category and DD value and dd description and then one more thing i'll put in here is order and this will be a number field and i want no decimals all right okay so then i'm gonna save this and i'm gonna call this um, drop down menus Then I'm going to populate it. Now I already have some data to put in here, so I'm just going to copy and paste my data in. Let's see. So let's see if I go here and then I'm going to paste. So I already have my information in here. <clears throat> so I have a category, I have a value, description, and the order. And so obviously the order is if you have a drop down menu and you want your everything to be in a certain order, this will allow you to do that. So now I'm gonna come back over to my test table. And well, one more thing, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna make sure I get company here. So I do, so I have company right there. So now I'm coming over to my test table. I'm gonna come up here to look up and I'm gonna double click, change this to combo box. I want it to stay table query, my row source. I'm gonna hit these three dots right here. And then I'm going to add my table. tables right here I'm gonna drag over drop down I just installed this most recent update on office so things are a little bit different on here for me but that's okay I figured it out all right so in here I want my category I want the value description order and let's see all right and then we're just going to, and for the category, we want company. So I'm going to type in company over here. And I'm just going to take a quick look at it. So I got company. And what I want to show on the drop down value is the value, obviously, and the description. Those are the two things I want to see. I'm going to move category to the end. And then for the value, I'm going to say not null. All right. And then for this, I'm going to leave these checked and I'm going to show you something here in a second so that that can stay on there. So now I got everything I want. Now I'm going to close. I'm going to say yes to saving it. And then I'm going to save my test table to show you real quick. You can see right here now you get the values, but I want to show, you know, two columns. I want to see the description as well. So I'm going to come back in design view and I'm going to say I want to see column heads. Uh, bound column is first one, my column count. I am going to say there's a four column count. But for column width, so I'm going to say two, two, zero, and zero. Because those other two columns, I don't want to show them, but I just want them to be in there. And then I'm going to put for list rows 50 so I can max out my the amount I want to see. My list width, I'll just say four inches because I have two here. Limit to list, I'm going to say yes because I don't want anybody to select anything else. Allow you value list edits, I'm going to say no. And then I'm going to hit save, open it up, hit the drop down. Now you can see now, maybe I don't want this to say DD value, DD description. So I'm going to go back to design view, come back here to my query. And here I'm just, I'm just going to say, um, say company like so and then here I can just say K 
company description. Hit save, close it, save again, open this up, and then I should have what I want. All right, there you go. And that is, that's all there is to it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe, and I'll try to make some other videos for you. Um, feel free to let me know if you need to see some, how something's done, and I'll, I'll gladly help you out. Have a good day.